the natural logarithm function and its graph. The natural logarithm function is a special type of logarithmic function. The simplest form of the natural logarithmic function is shown in the following on screen. For other functions that contain the natural logarithm, we have the following shown on screen. Obviously, we give some values to the independent variable x, and by substituting them in the function's formula we then calculate the corresponding y values, which represent the dependent variable. The graph of ln of function is similar to that of the other logarithmic functions discussed in the previous tutorial. The graph of the simplest version of the ln function is shown in the figure, we have the following shown on screen. As you see, the x-intercept is at the point x equals 1, where y equals 0. Indeed, we have the following shown on screen. On the other hand, you can see that the value y equals 1 corresponds to a point between x equals 2.5 and x equals 3, where it should be, we have the following shown on screen. The natural logarithmic function is the inverse of the natural exponential function, in the sense that the graphs of these two functions mirror each other according to the line y equals x, which acts as a symmetry line. We discuss this more extensively in chapter 28 where we cover reflections and figures mirroring. For now we can state that such a situation is observed when one figure is folded according to the line of symmetry to give the other figure. Both graphs of the above functions are provided in the same figure here, as well as the line of symmetry y equals x. We have the following shown on screen. It is evident that if we fold the figure according to the line y equals x, the two graphs fit perfectly with each other. That is all for lesson 13.4.6, to continue this tutorial please watch, 13.4.7, modeling the exponential curve using natural logarithm. Thank you for watching, make sure to like and subscribe to keep up to date with new videos. For more information, calculators, and tutorials, please visit www.icalculator.com.